This is a little, uh, I don't know, let's call it a pro tip. This is Oxbow Bend from above. You can see the cars down there lined up. My truck's over there. They line up. There's going to be a lot of people for sunset, and there may even be a few clouds, which has not occurred on this July week. But uh, we scrambled up the hill. You can duck down a little bit, and those cars suddenly disappear. And mostly, they're mostly all hidden this part over here. And if you're like me, you don't have Photoshop, you can just use Lightroom and that car's gone and really quickly. There's a little clone stamp. So, not a big deal. And then look, they're quickies, little aspens. So, all colors are even better. So, you got a line there. Then you'd have the typical ones that everyone gets at Oxbow Bin. They always hope for those ones to light up really nicely. And the ones further in the back as well. But you can do layers on layers. And if you like the pano, you can get the whole thing, which is also really nice. Um, it's beautiful, great spot. I just kind of wanted to quickly chat about that. But of course, you can go down to the beachfront, focus more on reflections and stuff like that. Uh, no reflections yet because the wind is blowing pretty decently. It should calm down. It does every night and every morning calms down pretty good. So, and then we are in July, and we can see Casey there focusing on some purple flowers. You can see them all throughout here. Well, mainly the purple up here. Uh, some yellows, but they're a little bit past. Um, let's see, there we go. And uh, we are now to the point where we're uh, got some shadows coming on. We're, we're like well past eight. I mean, we're setting pretty soon, as you can see. So, there's a little uh, quick tips on a little something different for Oxbow Bin photography. And if you just want to come up for the view, it's pretty darn cool because you can see much more than if you're standing like those people right there. You can take it all in at once. Pretty awesome, I would say.